It's never too hot for tea. I really want to order a McDonald's though. Oh, or any other burger brands. Jim, Jim is um, fighting an addiction. Though. Fucking get on Uber Eats, people. What are you waiting for? Brains. So there was a really cool, interesting article in the New Yorker, New York. uh, by Stephen Metcalf. Cheers, Steve. This recent move by movie studios to do like mega blockbusters. Mm. So your Marvel superhero movies, yeah. your Jurassic Worlds, and all this kind of thing is ending or killing off the age of stars of movie stars. Um, and I read that and I was just like, ooh, that's interesting, yeah. Because, I mean, back in the 80s, right, um, what, there was this shift from like the movie studios and the auteurs and your Spielbergs and all of that into this age of movie stars. Mm. Um, and it was like the agents all kind of the group together formed these agencies and they became like the major players in Hollywood because they'd have a writer and a movie star and a director all on there mm. and they'd go they'd go to the studios and go look I can put these guys together and you know make this movie age of like the Schwarzeneggers and Tom Cruise like like, yeah but yeah. you know your Tom Cruises and and all yeah. of this um, and yeah what they're saying now is that <coughs> because you know people aren't going to the cinema as more often they are plowing there's no like middle ground anymore so it's mm. like these mega budget movies but what's selling it is not the stars anymore it it, it doesn't matter I mean you look at the um, you know the Marvel superhero films those guys weren't really huge movie stars before no before those films uh, before the Marvel superheroes Robert Downey Jr okay yeah but wasn't at like the peak of his powers when he was doing Iron Man in 2008 yeah. it was great casting mm. and he's gone on to become massive but, you know, he had just kind of, you know, just rehabilitated himself and only done a few projects of kicking the drugs and everything. Mm. You look at all the other guys, Chris Evans, I mean, you know, had done superhero films, but it wasn't massive before he did. There, there, were no, there were no Tom Cruises or Brad Pitts. I suppose you couldn't. If, if, if there's an ensemble of characters and everybody's important, I think if you then hired big stars that would fuck all that up wouldn't yeah, they? Yeah, yeah. the dynamics wouldn't work so yeah and so from a studio point of view obviously it's cheaper for them mm. to develop a franchise or, or to buy a bit of IP intellectual property mm. than it is to hire like movie stars mm -hmm. what's what's interesting and it's not really gone into in, in the article but it got me thinking is like how that's always been the case for horror films like horror oh, films yeah. have never really with the exception of maybe World War Z have never really kind of pursued the movie star route. You know, it's mm -hmm. more about the the concept, the idea, and then trying to scare the shit out of the audience. The existing movie stars, so your Tom Cruises or whatever, they are basically trying to attach themselves to existing IPs. You know, Tom Cruise has been ch churning out the Mission Impossible films as an exec producer or, or mm -hmm. full producer, I can't remember which, mm -hmm. for the past few years. He's also, you know, uh, developed the Jack Reacher series. Yeah. And of course, he attached himself to the Mummy, which was meant to be a, mm. you know, cinematic universe similar to the Marvel ones, but with like the Universal uh, horror mm. stars, which oh, clearly looks like it's dead in the water already. Another one we were talking about when we first tried about this was the Expendables. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, because you, know, you got like old stars from the eighties, like Stallone, Lung, uh, Lundgren, and God, so fucking many. Schwarzenegger, yeah. Mel Gibson, all the rest of them. But they've come together now to build a franchise of the Expendables, yeah. which is, I think they've you, stopped now, to be honest. But Using their collective star yeah, power, yeah. because individually, let's face it, mostly they were direct to video guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, Lundgren, you know. Fuck. Van Damme, now they're on a bloody submarine in the latest one, and uh, they'll probably go straight to DVD. But, uh, but this is it. They, they kind of, you know, I think it was Stallone who kind of went, look, none of us, mm. all of us have seen better days. Mm. So if we team up and create a franchise, this is what people will Perhaps watch. that's why we get a lot of books to film, a lot of remakes. I mean, it's the existing idea. It could be, a, could be a, a lack of faith in writers, maybe as well. That could be. This was the downside they were saying was they were saying that you know, and and and, and there is some mileage in this. Is look at Jurassic World. It doesn't matter who was in Jurassic World. It doesn't matter if it was Chris Pratt, Bryce Dallas, yeah. whatever her name is. People just want to see fucking dinosaurs on the big screen. Mm -hmm. Now that can lead to. What some people would say is, you know, unoriginal filmmaking. 
Yeah, and a lot of, there are a lot of crit criticisms about the Marvel superhero movies. Me personally, I enjoy them for what they are. You know? Yeah, and Jurassic right. World, Fallen Kingdom, I went to the cinema to see. It's dumb fun. You know, you don't go to see a Jurassic Park sequel expecting, you know, like to be mind blown. You, you, you go in it and you get in what you'd expect. Yeah, yeah it's a popcorn movie and I'm fine with that. Um, I think it's much more interesting now that studios aren't as dependent on stars anymore. Mm. You know, they can recast these people. The, the, only, the only person who is in that realm of star, yeah. the main guy is The Rock. That's the yeah. only guy at the minute who's I, actually doing Absolutely, mate. That's what I thought. So he, the exception. But he's branding himself. But, but, yeah. but, okay. Some of the big hits that he's been involved in, right? Fast and Furious. Jumanji. Jumanji. Existing yeah. IPs. Mm -hmm. I mean, he came on board with it. Yes, I think he's probably the only guy. I mean, we'll, we'll see how Skyscraper does when it comes out. Which is a homage to Die Hard. He says Die so, Hard oh, slash Towering Inferno. Inferno yeah, yeah. Um, he did Rampage. Rampage was a game. Uh, yeah, I mean that one was pretty obscure. Mm. I mean, I was into my games in the eighties, and I just about remembered Rampage. Mm. But again, even though it is a bit obscure, it's still taking the IP of an mm. existing. You know, it's still lending. Nobody's coming with genuine original content. This you know is I mean? this is well. Is anything genuinely original? This, is, this was the criticism, is that, you know, oh, it's going to lead to, yeah, just people recycling the stories. And that, I imagine, you know, if the studios think they can make money from it, true. Mm. But I, I, I just think it's a plus of moving away from these star vehicles. Because, honestly, you know, what, what has Tom Cruise done that's been decent recently? I mean, that hasn't been a Katie franchise. Holmes has done it. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, from a studio point of view, it's interesting because they can recast. They we can recast the Hulk. You know, uh, what's his name? Banner, Eric Banner. That didn't work. Okay, we'll get rid of him. Ed Norton. Oh, he was too difficult. Get rid of him. Mark Ruffalo. Spider Man, Batman. You know, they've recast Spider Man. You know, Tobey Maguire, Andrew Garfield, and Tom Holland's. You know, within like mm. ten years. It's maddening because growing up, you see, oh, it's a Van Damme film. Fuck yeah, I want to watch Van Damme. But that Schwarzenegger. It's like, so so. It did, it, so it, it kind of didn't matter about the script, really. You just want to see that guy yeah. smashing people up. But now in this day and age, maybe it's a generational thing as well, perhaps, maybe the audience. It's going to be interesting, but I, I wonder what the movie stars, how they're going to respond. I think, like The Rock, I think it's taking original ideas or lending from original ideas and forming it into a rock brand. Yeah. You know what I mean? But, but you know, who are the movie stars who are going to be powerful enough to do that like not that many. Exists now. I mean not Johnny many. Depp I mean he's just churning out the Pirates films yeah yeah, yeah. no but I, I don't think there's Brad really Pitt a... I mean what, what has Brad Pitt been up to recently yeah. actually I don't think he's really anybody but then again there's nobody up and coming either really is there no because I mean everybody who's coming up now at a part of franchises and it just yeah it's being dictated to by the script really there's no yeah. There's no character, there's no actor with a big personality that's going to be more than the script. Yeah. So that's I, not going to happen anymore. But that, I, that, but that could be the sign of the times, though. Yeah, exactly. I mean, yeah, I, I think that's what what's exciting is, you know, I've always lived in the age of the stars or whatever, mm. and now it seems to be the shift to the IP. It might mean that these films mm. become less and less original. But I'm intrigued. And you know what? I haven't got a huge amount of sympathy for all these, you know, movie stars. I think the only genre which will have the stars, not completely, but more so, will be comedy. Yeah. Um, I think that's probably it. like, you know, your fucking Will Farrell's, your Zach Galifianakis and all that kind of stuff. That's so, so, yeah. the, so that genre, I think it's still in there, in the realm of yeah. stars. Mm. Um, but then those films have always had to depend on the personalities. Yeah, that is very important, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, that's it's, a good point. Yeah. So I think comedy will still have that. Maybe there'll be a franchise. I can't think of any. I think you see Austin Powers, but that was Mike Myers, yeah. wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I suppose it's the Apatow stable yeah. is the closest yeah. to a franchise, isn't it? Yeah. The Apatow film. But then again, I mean, he's kind of moved away from the 40-year-old virgin kind mm. of territory that he set up anyway. Mm. But yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, there's still like films which feel very Apatow esque. There was uh, one I haven't seen, but uh, Cock Blockers, or mm. Blockers, as mm. I think it's referred to in this country, where, you know, it's like oh, you know, a bunch of parents, parents trying to stop right. their kids. Is that Adam McKay? Because Adam McKay is a similar style. Well. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, um, yeah, that, that's a good one, mate. I hadn't thought of that. Like, yeah. you know, comedy might be where 
the stars kind of have because to... you are you know you're going to watch a funny guy or girl yeah. uh, if you're going to watch a funny comedian or comedic actor you will go you will keep it out for their films yeah yeah, yeah. you got um, you, you want to find the next melissa mccarthy amy, amy schumer the next one of those and, and you know uh yeah will ferrell those yeah kind of I mean, look at, um, oh, is it John McGinley? So, you know, who's in Step Brothers, Will Ferrell. Before Step Brothers, I mean, he was doing he, straight he's, acting. He's, he's very good because he can do straight acting, but he's very funny. But John, he is, John C. Riley, yeah, he's. John C. Riley. Yeah, he's John very. He, he's. Yeah, he can do it all, that guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's a really strong actor, but he gets the comedy. The comedy stuff, he's fantastic. But he will. He'll have to bounce off somebody like, like a Will Ferrell. Mm. Um, it's kind of like Vince Vaughn almost. Um, He's a funny guy, but he couldn't do a sole comedic role. He has to bounce off something. Yeah, he needs his own. Yeah, he's a bit too straight. Wait, with horror, it's it's usually the franchise. It's it's you know, for the studios. But yeah. otherwise, it's never been about stars. It's no. it's always been either original ideas or yeah, yeah. for the. Or the star would be more or less the killer, but that would be the fictional character. That's the IP. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, it's yeah. not so. But then the person who plays that part yeah. would become the star. So, so I, I suppose in, in a weird way we kind of cross over a bit, like yeah, like we are yeah. fucking Robert England, I suppose, back yeah. in the eighties. But then, yeah, you've got your Robert Englands, you've got your Doug Bradleys, but then yeah. I mean, you know, Jason, you've got like yeah. you know, a dozen Jasons running around all oh, the same yeah. places. But it's, it's because with Freddy Krueger, you know, Robert England comes through the makeup. Yeah. the costume that performance really well, comes through I mean uh, Wes Craven was always kind of saying oh you know he's the anti-slasher because you had your Jasons and your Michaels mm -hmm. who were just you know just killing machines you had mm -hmm. uh, yeah um, Robert Englund Freddy being the the wisecracking quipping kind of guy mm -hmm. same with like Chucky yeah of course yeah. Uh, yeah. Doug Bradley they've recast Pinhead a few times not always successfully keep Doug I guess they'll do it yeah we love you, Doug, even though, you know, he wants sass to me. Ten pounds, please. No, that a cheeky boy. Oh, that's right. right. He was, oh, you slated it, him. Doug, you Doug, moved seats. Doug, Doug Bradley uh, was slagging off remakes, and I was just like, oh, yeah, how's them sequels coming along, Doug? And he was like, cheeky boy. Chains literally just come from the ceiling. Yeah. Just the i got to admit, a little bit we came out then when he, when he focused the full glare on me. I made it up though, I, I, I bought a signature off him. Yeah, I did too, yeah. Did I know you did, didn't you? Ten pound. Jim. Tear your soul apart. That's it. I did ask him for that. I hated it, but I thought, fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> we love you, Doug. You so yeah, but that's, I, 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 I love the fact that now kind of Hollywood has moved more towards the horror model of IP franchises, mm -hmm. that, and less away from star vehicles. Back. Because I, I think that's a messed up that's a messed up place to be. But 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 that, I think that's why Netflix is doing well because mm. they're tapping into that as well. Less like Stranger Things, mm. you know that yeah, kind of yeah. stuff. And that's probably egging writers on. I mean, writers are not stupid. They're obviously thinking of that too. Yeah. I'll write a book, a series of books. You yeah. Know? I mean, it could be rather than like films dictated by star power, it's now direct. It could yeah. be by writers. Mm. I'm excited for that. Mm. I know writers. They're the lovely people. <laughs>